there's a range of different reasons why there's not more women in politics. There's probably a range of different things that we need to do. One issue that I find when speaking to lots of uh, potential women candidates is a confidence issue. So I think that's about making politics far more welcoming and helping people to actually recognise that it is an enjoyable thing to do and something that they could actually get a lot out of and be good at and really feel like they are contributing to their local community and wider society. Well, I think we need a better explanation uh, to actually what members of parliament do, because I think if we were better at explaining it, and particularly all the constituency work that happens, uh, the work in Westminster, I think a lot of people would think, yeah, I can do that actually. I think the trouble is that we often see MPs only in one particular light, often standing up in the House of Commons, and that's just a tiny fraction of our job. Labour's led the way. We've introduced all women shortlists. Um, in 1997, that meant that we got 101 women MPs all in one go. We didn't actually use them um, the following election and the number of women that got elected went down to three or four. Um, so you can see the change that it can make. But the Labour Party can't do this on their own. We can't do all the heavy lifting. All the parties need to, to say it because even if we get past 50%, if the other two parties don't step up to the job, it's still going to be all male. We also need to look at some of the other barriers. Um, cash is one of the barriers in terms of, actually, we know that women are still paid less than men and it costs money to stand for Parliament in terms of whether you do it holding down a, uh, another full-time job or whether you actually uh, reduce your hours at work to be able to focus on, on winning a seat. That's a real issue that parties, I think, need to look at what support they can actually give to, uh, to women candidates and indeed to people from other underrepresented backgrounds as well. And then there's also the issues around caring responsibilities for young children and also for uh, older relatives. Uh, all of these are things that take significant amounts of time and of course being a candidate is something that takes a lot of time. And so these can actually be barriers that stop women from coming forward and getting elected to politics. And I think that political parties have a real responsibility to address all of those issues. Mm -hmm.